all right so here let's talk a little bit about your environment setup now i want to just let you know that you know when you're just getting started or you know if the expectation from a new job is just a query stuff the environment will already be set up for you generally the environment setup and tuning and all these things are um, you know dbas or database administrators take care of this but the whole point over here is if it is really very simple and if you'd like to follow certain exercises with me let us take some time and set up a very simple environment in order to get started all right so we will be using sql server and again you can really use any flavor 2008 2012 2014 any version uh, the things that we will be using are um, something like just creating databases tables joins and stuff so pretty much whatever you choose it should work um, if 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 you are able to install other um, um, database engines like oracle or mysql and stuff feel free to do that there will be slight syntax changes and stuff so um, we'll be just using sql server here and also we will be using the free editions of sql server so that you don't have to do any investments um, you know when you get started so before we take a deep dive into the installation part let's look at you know at least two two simple differences between database and tools right when you install a database engine which is typically called as a database engine like sql server and stuff you put in data in it and you write queries to retrieve the data from it that that's the basic principle right now how do you pass on the query to the database engine and get the answers back well, there are many ways to do that. You could simply type in your syntax in Notepad or something, and then by a command line, just you know, supply that query to the database engine and get it back to us. Now, this is where tools help us. Tools are nothing but just a software which helps you interact with the database. The tools are not the database. All it does is takes your query, passes it on to the database, gets the answers back, and then displays it in a human readable format. So it, it just, it's, it's for convenience sake that we use these tools. So let's, let's look at, um, you know, a few differences. So let's assume you have a database, it's situated in London, uh, there is another database in USA and another database in Australia. So as I mentioned before, you could very well, you know, connect to these databases and then just pass on your queries via text, via command line and stuff, right? But a simpler way is to use a tool. And Microsoft, when you install um, the database engine, it gives you an option of installing a tool called a SQL Server Management Studio, right? So in Management Studio, you can just provide a connection string, basically, um, you know, the address of the London database or the address of the USA database. We will look at a few examples and just connect to that database and directly interact with the database right from the tool, right? And that's where the, these things become really, really handy. It just it just speeds up your overall, um, you know, um, querying effort. It, it, it provides you a lot of hints. It provides you a lot of syntax checking, right? When you type in a query, uh, even before it sends it to the database, it can tell you whether your query is right or not. Whereas if you use your command prompt and stuff, the typical way of doing it is, you type in a query, it sends to the database and the database executes it and realizes there is an error and sends back an error message. So all those things becomes really very easy when you use a tool. And in this case, we will be using something called as a SQL Server Management Studio. We'll go through the installation, we'll connect to a few databases and we will write some simple queries against these databases. Now, these tools are also called as IDEs or Integrated Development Environments. So it, just a technical term, nothing nothing to worry too much about it. Just thought I'll throw it in there. All right, so we talked about databases and tools. So let me just walk you through how to install your basic tools and databases and you know get your environment set up and running. So let me just Google the express link so that you can follow along with me and i generally just 
type in something like this so that you know the, the links always change so i just hate putting it in the descriptions of videos and stuff so you know i i, I just follow the normal route of searching for it and you know uh, downloading the required tools so if you click on the first link um, it'll show you a download option for downloading the microsoft sql server 2014 express now express editions are free editions with very limited features but will have everything that we will need for this course so as soon as you click on download it's going to give you a bunch of options over here and what you want to do is actually go ahead and download um, this one depending upon um, if you have a 32-bit machine or a 64-bit machine you need to download the express advanced edition that will basically have the database engine as well as the management studio the the tools that we talked about so i have just in i'm just in the process of downloading this so you can see i'm going to pause this video right now and after it downloads i'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of installing the database engine and the tools and then after that we can get started with our course okay so we have downloaded the <clears throat> software now and you can see that it's about 1.1 gb so i'm going to go ahead and just run this executable and that'll give you a couple of options to um, install your database as well as install the tools so let's just wait for a minute all right so you get two options here i'm going to start the standalone installation and okay it looks like there is something running so let me just make sure i have closed everything okay let me retry it okay so <clears throat> this will basically open up a wizard for you and it's it's kind of a step-by-step -step process but it's extremely simple okay in the next step you see that <clears throat> there are a couple of options that you need to choose and one of them is the management tools and so your management tools get installed over here and this is the database engine services so we don't have to change anything just click next all right and then i'm going to call this as sql express just to keep it very simple click next and then it's going to ask you a couple of questions for server configuration again we can just keep everything as it is uh, no need to make any changes as such just keep on clicking next <coughs> okay so don't worry about um, mixed mode and windows authentication uh, we'll, we'll cover that later but mixed mode is basically um, you just just en enter any password that you can remember and this password will be used for logging into your databases so i generally like mixed mode in my development environments um, again nothing nothing very special about it in this course um, just just type in some password you can remember and click next and uh, reporting services again we're not going to cover reporting services so it really doesn't matter if you whatever you choose and then click next and then this will take about a couple of minutes maybe 20 minutes or 25 minutes in depending upon what kind of uh, machine you're using so i'm going to pause this video for some time and when it completes we will just uh, review its um, installation okay so once when the installation is completed you will find a success page where it will show you all the components that was installed and you know whether the installation succeeded or not and let's see what do we have here so in sql 2014 you should find management studio so if you click on that this was the tool i was talking about And this is where basically you can connect to your server right in this case it must have installed with a name that is na the same as your machine name or you could just type localhost or basically just a dot and it'll connect you to the database engine now 
here if you remember we had basically named this instance as sql express right so we need to so the way it works is you enter in the name then a backslash and then your instance name so basically you can have multiple instances of um you know um uh, sql install on your machine and you can access them using their instance names the other one where we talked about mixed mode was you remember the password that i asked you to enter that will be easy for you to remember and that's how you log in over here so you just enter the same password so i had entered as pass at the rate one two three um, and then the login is sa and if you enter in the password you will basically see that um, you know you're, you are connected to the database so this tool is the ide that we talked about and this helps you connect your database now in the coming tutorials we will look at how to create a database how to put in a few tables how to put in a couple of data and then how to query it